you guys. I'll be showing you how to work with the playhead in the uh, timeline here and what the time code numbers mean. I'm also going to show you how to expand out the timeline so it's easier to see what frames you're working on. Finally, I'm going to show you how to determine the uh, start and end points of your animation. And if that sounds like gibberish, don't worry. The purpose of this tutorial is to familiarize yourself with uh, those terms. So we're really going to be focusing over here, like on this area, and this is the playhead, and this is the timeline. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to drag this up like that so we could get a better view. So the timeline is where all the animation action takes place. Here you're going to see what's been animated, what the timing is, and how long your video is going to be. So no external assets here. I'm just using this animation I put together here personally, but these techniques work on any project. So first things first, like I mentioned, this is the play, uh, sorry, this is the playhead. This kind of, it looks like an upside down triangle. So this marks where you are in any given animation. You can move it around by clicking and dragging, just like this. And uh, you can also use, if you have these buttons, page up, page down. Page down will move it uh, down the timeline, page up earlier up the timeline. You can also use uh, control command. Uh, you have a PC, so I'm using control. You hold down control or command, and you hit the uh, left and right uh, arrows on your numpad. Oh, and <laughs> you can also change the time code. The time code's over here. So if I typed in, you know, 20 frames, it goes a little farther than that. So about the time code, it's in hours, then minutes, seconds, and then frames. So the uh, colons over here, that shows it's if it's using a non-drop frame. So that means the program is counting every single frame. It's showing you every single frame. And semicolons, which uh, you can't see over here, but you can you see where it's like, oh, you can show an alternate display uh, style. I'm not going to change it because I prefer this format. Um, but if you change it, there's going to be semicolons. And that option is called a drop frame, which you usually use for uh, TV broadcasts. And that, like the name suggests, it's, it's not showing you every single uh, frame. So back to the timeline area over here. I mean, you can see that it's being counted by seconds. One thing to note, the default display of the timeline may vary depending on the size of your screen. But overall, I mean, I would assume that everybody can see, you know, zero seconds, one second, two seconds. Um, so you see that it's divided up by seconds. But what if you want to work on individual frames, you know, like those still images in sequence that make up a video? So you can head over here. You see it kind of looks like this mountain thing. It looks like a, It looks like a mountain over here. And if I click and slide this to the right, then I get to hone in on every single little frame over here. See, 17, 18 frames. And if I go to the left, then it crunches everything down and it skips by twos over here. Generally, in animation, 24 frames makes a second. That does change. You know, some forms of media wants 29 frames a second, some of them up to 30. Um, even some forms of media prefer 60 frames per second. Um, but generally a good rule of thumb like if you're working at home is 24 frames a second but obviously that's going to vary depending on whatever project you're working on so double check you know if you're working on like a video game animation something for tv something for film um you know what the standard is for that so like you saw before by the way this is animated so i'm actually going to show you how to see all my animated keyframes so, I'm going to stop that animation. I press the space bar. That's the hotkey for that. And the ball is what's bouncing over here. So, if I want to see all the animated keyframes over here, by the way, if you're not familiar with keyframes, um, we're also making a keyframe tutorial, so stay tuned for that. So, toggle open with this arrow. You see? And once I toggle it open, there's a lot of options here. Don't get intimidated. But you can see this blue line over here, the one that's got, you know, it's bits highlighted in blue, has all these keyframes. These symbols symbolize all the keyframes. Now I've closed that up. So what if you want to, you know, just see all your animated keyframes, but you don't want to have to keep toggling. So you, you know, click the uh, layer that you want to see all the keyframes. You just hit U on your keyboard and it shows everything that's animated and hit U again and that closes it up. So yeah, that's how you navigate the timeline in After Effects. And you're going to be using this in pretty much any After Effects project as you animate. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. This has been Separ Designs for Noble Desktop.